Much like an old girlfriend once said to me, with the right combination of drugs, you're a really fun date. The same goes for Boost. And what goes with Boost? Meth. Lots and lots of meth squirted right into the right spot. Like, say, this volute. Let's drill and tap some nozzle holes. So I've done a bunch of research and settled on the AEM methanol injection system because they offer by far the best atomizing nozzles. You'll see why in a little bit. Plus they have a couple of really potent controller options. That said, typically you want to shoot for about 15 to 25 percent of your total fueling from the meth for the best balance of octane, basically tuning safety, intake air temp reduction, and in the case of injecting straight into the volute, moving the compressor map to the right basically making it act like a bigger compressor. Something I need since the engine in the LTD makes over 500 horsepower naturally aspirated, and this compressor is a bit undersized for that. In fact, this compressor caps out at around 800 horsepower, and I want at least that much. And of course, I'll definitely take more. So shooting for about 20% fueling, I'm gonna need about 1500 cc's of meth injection. The AEM V3 nozzles are actually rejettable, so you don't need to buy more to tune with. Each one comes with a 250cc, 500cc, and 1000cc diffuser thingy like a jet. And of course, I'd like to spread the joy, so I'm going to drill and tap holes for three of them right around the periphery. So let's get at it. Well, of course we got to test this thing. So the tank is filled up with water. It's hard to see it, but the line is pretty much right at the seam. Maybe we can see it that way a little bit better. I don't know. Anyway, here's the setup rig. We're using a 3S battery going straight to the pump with a switch. There's the three nozzles in the volute. Here we go. running nothing spraying there's pressure in there let's put the volute down maybe it's just getting jammed up against the pressure let's see there we go doesn't really move that much water all things considered I've run a fuel pump before, it moves a lot more than that. Take two. There we go. All right, well, this one is barely moving anything. This one is moving a little bit more, and the one at the bottom is moving by far the most. Let's see if we can rotate this around yeah still looks the same i wanted to jump in here and say this is definitely a case of looks can be deceiving rather than torment you all with my various testing and everything else let's skip right ahead to where i decided to get smart and test the actual flow per nozzle our water tank is topped off we've got this thing in some janky sort of plastic dish that i could find that fits and we got the stopwatch out. That should be a 500 cc nozzle. We'll do a 30 second run and let's see what it looks like. It's a little close, but let's do it. Ready? It is actually filling up with water. We are at 10 seconds now. We're gonna run this for 30. 
There's a little mist. Not much though. Not much at all. We're at 25 seconds. Ready to kill it? Kill it. All right. That's 30 seconds. That's a 500 cc nozzle. We should have 250 cc's. Let's see if that's true. Well, interesting. That's uh, pretty close to 500 milliliters. Let me straighten out the camera. It's just under, yeah. Might be 450 milliliters. In 30 seconds time, 450 milliliters. That's actually overperforming what the nozzle's rated for. Let's try the middle one, see how that does, I guess. Right? Sure, why not, let's do it. We are all reset. This is the center nozzle. I'm just gonna kick it and then hit the start. Figure it's close enough. Boom. There we go. In fact, it just now started pumping anyway. We're at 15. And we're going to go one second over because of the time it took to go from the switch to the stopwatch. And done. All right. Let's see how much this one's flowed. Well, look at that. Level out the camera here because we're looking downhill and down at it. I flowed pretty much exactly the same, maybe just a tad less than 450 milliliters. Now let's try the last one. So far it's looking bad for my plumbing, but it's looking really good for AEM. All right, we're going to do the same. This is the last nozzle. This is in the smallest part of the volute. This should also be a 500 cc nozzle. In fact, they all have the same. When I took them apart, I checked them. That is, in fact, the case. We're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to throw the switch and then start the stopwatch and run for 30. Here we go. Now, this one, the way it was plumbed, flowed by far the most. I mean, it was quite visible something's leaking here oh the filter's leaking for some reason but it doesn't affect this because that's on the source side i'll have to check the gasket and the filter up here anyway we're coming up on 31 and there's 31 all right you see the bubble swirling around in there let's see what that actually translates to No, <laughs> look at that. All right, AEM, you guys win. That's pretty much 450. Just a little under, kind of like the rest of them were. How about that? They all flow the same. They're all good. So now we're going to try running for, I'd say, I don't know, 10 seconds on the stopwatch with all three connected. And let's see if we get the same number. We should, because that's a third as long. Let's find out. Are we ready? Contact. Three seconds left. There we go. All right, let's take her apart and see how she did. Hmm. It's interesting. Maybe a little less than 350 that time. You know what I think it is? I think the pressure in the line of the pump is going down because it's going through three nozzles. And that's why we're not flowing as much. But we do know how much it flows. And let's call this a best case scenario, although the voltage probably does go down to about 11 or so. 
Voltage goes down to 11. Un, uh, I tested the voltage in this battery. It's not fully charged, but it's exactly at 12 volts when we started. So it probably sags down a little bit to about probably 11 and a half or so, if I was to guess. But, well, the individual ones definitely do flow the same. So the AM nozzles definitely work quite well. All right, the tank is full right all the way up to the top. We're going to see how long it takes to empty it completely. Good luck. We're all counting on you. All right, this will tell us. I'm getting moist. Seriously, like I'm getting rainbow. I'm actually getting wet. Um, it's kind of hard to see the water level. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Oh, we're still like three quarters full and we've been going for 30 seconds. We're not even down to the sensors. And I bet you want to know what I want to know. What is the capacity of the tank, actually? We're not even down to the sensors yet. I don't know if you can see it. I've been recycling the water, so the filter's getting a workout, too. But, yeah, you know, I mean, look. It'd be what it be. I may actually do something a little bit different as far as the distribution is concerned. I don't know why I keep talking, but... I'm going to actually cut, I'm not going to let the pump dr run dry, but I'm going to cut it when it gets down to just that little sump section down at the bottom. Because right now we're here, we've been going for about a minute and 20 seconds. It's misting quite ferociously. And everything's getting wet, including my shoes. And we are to the sump now. All right, so... You run this thing for a minute 30 on whatever that volume is with three 500cc nozzles, which is actually a lot. Water level's right here in the tank. If the math holds true, this should hold 3,150cc or about 3.15 liters. Let's find out. I got to do this 500 milliliters at a time because it's the biggest one I got. Five hundred. One thousand. Fifteen hundred. Two thousand. Twenty five hundred. And that's about as full as it was. So we're two hundred and fifty milliliters off of three thousand, so it's two point seven five liters. Close enough. Incidentally, the meth nozzles were actually outperforming their ratings. Which, you know, we were averaging actually under 350 milliliters. Let's call it 340, 330, somewhere in that ballpark, whatever it is. It still works out to be closer to 2,000 cc's per minute than 1,500 cc's per minute, which is the rating. So let's ballpark it with losses and tubes and everything installed. Let's call it 1,800 cc's per minute. That's a good amount. That should be plenty for the car. We're going to find out on the dyno, though. There you go. Water meth install. The lesson learned here is A, test your nozzles for actual flow, and B, don't go by what it looks like. Go by what it is. If you like this kind of stuff, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you all, and I'll catch you all in the next one. We're getting closer to making some real power. My shoes are wet. <laughs>